This video is presented by the EA Creator Network, and I would like to thank EA for providing me a code. EA Play Pro allows you to play some of your favorite games up to 10 days before the release date. On top of that, you will receive exclusive in-game rewards and members-only content. When you sign up for EA Play Pro, you will get 10% off of any purchases within Origin, and you'll get instant access to a collection of EA's best love games. You can try out brand new games and the saved data will carry over should you decide to purchase the full game. New games are added regularly, so there's always more to play. Head on over to the EA website to find out all the games that are available with EA Play Pro, as well as any other benefits that come along with it. Hello everyone. So as you know, or maybe probably not actually, um, I used to play FIFA quite a bit. I never really watched any of the leagues or anything. I watched like the Euro Cup, the World Cup. That's about it. But I loved playing the game and yeah, so that's that. But I haven't played it in a while and now I have the chance here to open some packs on FIFA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these packs and then these packs are going to determine my draft restrictions on NHL 21. So the way I'm going to be doing this and I really feel like this is not going to turn out well Maybe we'll put a decent team together somehow, though, is I am going to take my top 20 best overall players from this, and that is the overalls that I can pick in NHL 21. So let's say I pull 187 here, I can take 187 in NHL 21. Now, looking at these pack probabilities, I think our team is going to be pretty stanky, but I guess we'll find out. So anyways, let's go ahead and open some packs here. Why not? Buy pack with oh man this is stressful actually oh boy we're not gonna have a good team in nhl i can already tell but maybe maybe we'll be able to put something together you know all right here we go oh yeah oh yeah don't know what to expect yep that's a hot start that's a great start i love that for me 77 overall huh <laughs> well then our nhl team gonna be rough oh i didn't even see the cheeky 81 there okay Okay, so that's good. The presentation card is not always like, you know, the best card in the pack. That's that's great to know. Nice. Well, yeah, so far we have an 81. Uh, 77, we'd be able to get like, uh, I don't know, a younger player. But anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and just send all those to the Collection for now. Pack number two. Yep, with FIFA points. Let's go. Can we get... I, I Come on, at least give me like one really decent player that's all i ask just one really decent player 78 okay we are off to a hot start here and by hot i mean freezing cold oh no if it keeps up like this we might have to make some sort of like cheeky stipulation so that you know we uh <laughs> have at least some sort of chance or not or we could just suffer and see if i can try to put a team together that somehow makes the playoffs um I just realized there's a whole lot of sports going on right now we're in a Blue Jays thing. Got FIFA. We're gonna have NHL coming up next. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. 150 points. Boom. Another pack. I, I I'm starting to think we're not gonna get a single player over like 84. Um, and you know that's okay. Another 81. That's not bad. 81's pretty solid. I'll take that. So and we also know that we could get like other 81s in the pack. We did not this time. But it is possible. If we just do it like this, I, I mean, yeah, we could just try to make an NHL team that has more wins than losses. That would be our main objective. But even then, not going to happen with 81 overall. No shot. Well, we, we can possibly add a stipulation. I'll think about it, depending on how the rest of this goes. But we have pack number four, I think this is. Come on. Come on. Okay, I like some of these players could be really good too, and I have genuinely no idea. So far, I've completed two games of foot, and I faced teams that were significantly better than me because they had clearly already opened their packs, I guess. It was like all gold teams, I had bronze, and oh, this one seems to be a little more exciting. Oh yeah! I feel like I've heard of Murata before. I didn't even probably pronounce it right, but anyway, 83. That's not bad. We're getting somewhere now. And an 82! In the same pack. Chillwell, fire me up. We are slowly getting down there. So it's becoming kind of worrisome, I suppose. We do have an 83, which is not bad. This one doesn't have like the flames and stuff. So I'm guessing, yo, Buffon, no way. 
I had him back in like FIFA 14 Ultimate Team or something like that. But anyway, whoa, why'd we get so many players in this one? Holy crap. Yeah, we might have to do something like the FIFA overalls plus five because they don't really check out that way, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't really have like a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of does, but it's just a lot more rare. Oh, to get like, oh boy, oh boy. Another 83. All right, not bad. That's not bad. So that's, that's going to be a fairly decent player, but I mean, still doesn't really give us a chance at all. I also have no idea what to be gassed about, you know, like 83 overall. Is that good? I know that I'm so out of touch with Ultimate Team. I haven't really even played NHL Ultimate Team in a while. All right, and we don't have any flames this time. 76 overall. That's okay. That's, we're gonna have to do some kind of stipulation, I'm thinking, if we want to have... At least a dash of fun on NHL. Two more packs to go. Boom. This is our second last pack. 150 FIFA points. Out the door. Oh, okay. All right. Not good. Not good. Center back. Yeah, yeah. All right. Medina. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the pack. What else we got in here? Ooh. All right. 81. That's decent. And maybe now I'll actually be able to compete in my FIFA matches as well. Won't get... I mean, I, I wasn't getting destroyed, to be fair, because I did used to play it, so I still have a little bit of ability. Not a lot, but a decent amount. So, here we go. Our final pack. Oh, it doesn't have the flames. That's not good. Oh, still 80, though. Roger. If I, for some reason, feel like it's not pronounced Roger. I don't know why. But anyway, okay. We're going to have to add a little bit of a stipulation. Otherwise, we are going to get destroyed on NHL. Well, that does it for the FIFA packs. Um, yeah. I, I Did I pull someone good? Please let me know, because I have genuinely no clue. But I am gonna... Does this thing have, like, an auto-team put-together feature, like Hockey Ultimate Team? I have no idea. I'll have to try and solve this later. I think doing plus five might be too much, because, like, we did get, you know, a fair amount of 80s. That'd be a lot of 85 overall players. That'd be hard to get. So I'm thinking, like, maybe we do plus three. On top of what we got. So, for example, we pulled two 83s. That'd be two 86 overall players on NHL. We got an 82. That'd be an 85. We got three 81s. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's do that, I think. Just just so we stand a chance. Otherwise, we already all know how it's going to go. So, <laughs> we have to try and spice it up a little bit. All right. So, hopefully, I remember I'm going to throw up a graphic right here that just kind of shows you guys the summary and what overall players we are picking. And, yeah, I'm... Obviously, probably going to go in order. I doubt I'm going to pick an 81 before an 82, for example. So, yeah, I decided to add three just so that we have a little bit of a shot. You know, it's possible. Um, so, let's go ahead and randomize the team here. Looking at you guys. I'm going to let it go super long again. If we land on Chicago, I'm going to be so shocked. Boom. Okay, Arizona. We got kind of close, to be fair. I'm kind of hoping we get a late pick because that is in our best interest at this point. We're not going to take one of the 90 overalls anyway. Of course. Of course. Yeah, why take any of these people when we can take an 86 overall player? That's my plan. We are going to get absolutely stomped on. Well, I'm going to take Teravainen, I suppose, here. Or should I take Darlene? Get a defenseman early. Let's take Rasmus and then... Hmm, I'm trying to think. I should probably take a goalie soon, too, because it does go down quick. All right, as our second 86 player, I will be maybe taking a goalie. I think I take it back, actually. I'm going to wait for 85 and try to get Blackwood. So, yeah, let's take another player at 86. If Tara, Well, there, I, did anyone take 86s yet? To be fair, I did see Brady Kachuk who's 84. So, it's very possible that we are going to get uh, an extremely decent player. I really want Perron, but we can't do it. All right. I mean, we can do it, but we shouldn't do it. Oh, uh, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Tara Vine. I'm just going to go with it. So, we only get one 85 overall player. I think I should have done five. Five on top of whatever the overall was. But anyways, uh, we're here now. We are doing it live. And this team is going to suffer. Yeah, let's take Mackenzie Blackwood. 85 overall. There's our goalie. Okay, we are at 84 overall. And I'll take Pesci because I don't see why not. We should almost try to see if this team can win in like... <laughs> More than one year, but I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard with contract. We'll just do the first year. Let's just see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see how this team will perform. Like, will they actually get destroyed or will they hold their own? Tom Wilson, first line <laughs> winger. Absolutely. Well, we're at 83. Um, I don't think Cap is really our enemy right now like it normally is, but I'm going to take Eric Stull anyway just because 
I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It's almost kind of like turning into an experiment. Like, you know, how, how well can we put together a team here <laughs> with insane overall restrictions? Fiala seems like he would fit. We only have two defensemen. I should probably work on that. Okay, at least for defensemen, the overall we're picking is on the front page this time. So that's definitely a positive. You know, if you want to look at the bright side of things, there you go. Let's just get some size. You know, six foot eight, Tyler Myers. Guy's pretty short. Let's take him. Oh, this team is going to be awful. Who cares at this point? Should I just take Orlov? I like him. Guy's cool. He confuses me sometimes because his number is nine and he kind of looks like Ovechkin on the ice. So sometimes I'm like, who is that? And then, you know, I have to look after further examination. I'll find out. But, you know, at least it requires that examination. All I'm saying is I would not be upset if someone confu conf confused. That's a great word. I'm going to take Goligoski. Let's add some, I, oh, I feel like we already have some older players on the team. But anyway, he's an offensive defenseman. That was my primary reason. So now we're kind of in the ballpark, you know, like <laughs> they're taking players that are around the overall that we are able to take. So we got two more 82 overall players um, and I'm, I'm probably going to make these forwards. I think that's probably the move here. Uh, I noticed we only have one right winger. So should I take like Palmieri or something? Our second line right winger is going to be Palmieri. Oh boy. Well, I mean, no, I'm going to take Felino because I can. Oh, I just realized we don't have a backup goalie. This is just falling apart. At this point, let's just take Jumbo Joe. You know, it doesn't really hurt. We now get 481 overalls and I will be grabbing the Wayne train because obviously I never even really see how he sims for me. For all I know, he is like the worst player on the team every time, but, um, yeah, and I normally have to be, like, pretty cap conscious. Don't really have to this time at all. So let's take Anderson because he is, I mean, pretty good for an 81 overall, I would think. Grice, 81 overall. I mean, he's probably one of the better choices here, I would think. Fringe starter. Yeah, let's, let's go. So we have one more 81, and then we have three 80s. So I am going to take a defenseman first, and then I'll just make a full fourth line of 80 overall players. We don't have to worry about cap, so Strawman, uh, 81, right? Yeah, okay. Phew, that was scary. All right, forwards, 80 overall, where are you at? We got Perot. I don't even know if this is going to be our fourth line. Who even knows at this point? Uh, let's take Zach Cassian, though. He could add some... More grit to this team. The only way we stand a chance is by beating the other team down. <laughs> and then, you know, they have no one left. I mean, he's also a right winger, but uh, one of them can probably play on the left side. Doesn't really matter that much. Let's take Yoel Armia. I really want to take Spezza, but Bozak, yeah, he's making a lot. We have a lot of cap space, so I don't see why not. 83 face-offs as well. I should probably just sort by centers because I want, you know, someone with a good draw. On him. Hmm. Johansson. No. Okay, so it comes down to, like, Benino, who has 80, Bozak, or Spezza. This is a really tough decision for some reason. Um, I'm, I'm, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna take Bozak. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't know if you're able to see teams overalls anywhere, but we would definitely be one of the worst. I would imagine, anyway. But, uh, once again... I always assume something with these drafts and then the opposite often ends up happening or at least not as extreme as I thought it was. I don't think I'm in for a surprise this time. Sometimes the crossover videos like Rocket League and stuff, it works out. I have like, I, I understand the overalls and everything and then, you know, it just kind of works out. For some reason, I thought that upping it by five overall would have been tough. No, it wouldn't have been at all. That definitely would have been doable and we would have had a competitive team. So now... We are in for a real treat. I'm practically listening to the NHL 05 soundtrack right now, so that's kind of firing me up a little bit. Maybe we can uh, light a fire under these lads, and they will go out there soaring, but I, I don't really... No, that's not going to happen. To be fair to you, I said I was only going to do two videos until NHL, <laughs> NHL 22 came out per week, uh, and I'm, I'm giving you a third here, so... Give me the benefit of the doubt. I mean, we're not, we're not terrible, are we? Yeah, we are. Oh yeah, we are. We are really bad. Well, on offense, we have plus one line chemistry for every line. On defense, we got one, three, one. And then in net, we've got Mackenzie Blackwood and oh, this is 
Going to be interesting, to say the least. Early predictions, I'm going to say Rupe Hints gets the most points with 61. <laughs> and then I'm going to say the team gets 34 wins. Let's go! Great start, boys! Come on! Why? Why am I getting my hopes up? This is not gonna- this is not sustainable. Stop. Yeah, we just lost to a team that was 1-5. and five. Relax. Alright, I haven't looked up in like a long while here. Let's see. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. 7 nothing win over San Jose. How does that even happen? This would be a true underdog story if they managed to pull this off. I'm almost thinking at the trade deadline, like, maybe I should just go with EA's best lines and see if that gives us a bit of a boost. Yeah, every time we do kind of start getting a few wins, we just get a few L's and come right back. Okay, we kind of fell back down there. 22, 21, and 4. I'm just going to do the best lines because I find that that normally works out better for whatever reason. 31 points in 47 games, and we're still somehow staying afloat. All right, well, yeah, let's let's go with best lines. Um, boom, there it is. Apparently, this is better, according to EA Sports. So, yeah, let's go and run with that. Well, whatever. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to assume that the AI knows something I don't. And so those best lines are the best. Oh, we start with a loss. Great. Part of me wants to make some deadline trades. Part of me wants to see if the lads can pull it off. Realistically, this team should have some poise. You know what I mean? Because... There's some, there's some vets on this squad. Like, right now, we're in a wild card spot, you know? It's not out of the question. I'm gonna see if the boys can pull it off. Screw it. Uh, let's go keep the current trading block, and let's enter the deadline just to see who is available and who we will not be grabbing because we're gonna let the lads run with it, all right? I'm not gonna... Is this... Don't tell me the game's, like, crashing or something. I'll cry. Is the controller dead? Controller's fine. Uh... No? Please? I've never had this happen to me in my entire life. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. Has this ever happened to someone? I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I'm assuming that it, the autosave will probably be like uh, at the start when we were 0 and 0. So, huh. All right, I'm going to give it about like 10 more seconds. And if not, we're going to have to force close the game, I guess. I... Don't know how that happened. My controller's on. I just unplugged the batteries, put them back in, and I've also gone to the Xbox home menu, and it was fine, so... Ah. All right, I'm going to restart it. Let's hope that the autosave isn't at the beginning of the year. If it didn't even autosave, I am going to be very upset. The autosave was four minutes ago. That... No way. No way. All right, I'm going to cheat the system here a little bit, but I didn't really like the way the team simulated after the lines got changed, so I'm going to kind of mess around with them a bit again. Okay, well, oh, this is so tough. You know, I'm going to I'm going to go for the chemistry. Screw it. There it is. All right. So, yeah, we we are back. We are back to our lines. I think they are the same. Let's simulate up to the trade deadline again and hope that that doesn't happen again. We still lost to Toronto, so it didn't matter. Oh no. Oh dear. We've been screwed. I'm, I'm calling it out. We have been screwed. Okay, whatever. I'll go back to best lines then. Let's just run with that. What a tragic series of events. Game crashes. We decide, ah, whatever. The lines were, you know, they were doing all right, but I feel like we were kind of doing better before. No, we were not, clearly. All right. I feel like we've been betrayed, so uh, I'm giving myself a mulligan. I am going back to where we loaded the first time, and I'm doing best lines again. Okay, well, let, let's see. Watch us do even worse now. It's just, you know, like a downhill slope. At least we beat Toronto that time, you know? So that's that's a good start. Okay, so swapping to the EA best lines was maybe the move. Keep the current trading block. I think that is a very similar record to what we were at before, actually, the first time. So let's... I'm scared now. I'm scared. All right, let's do it. It's not going to crash two times in a row, is it? I thought it was going to do it. I was about to lose my mind. All right, we have Freddie Anderson... Johnny Toes, Perron, Giordano, Buchnevich, Ranta. Okay, so there you go. There's the thing. Let's get back to the simulation. So once again, we are in a wild card spot. Um, this is this is gonna be stressful. I know I, cause I got my hopes up now. Now I'm gonna get angry because we're not gonna make it, and it's gonna make me very upset. Like, do you guys want to win a game or no? That's you know, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm getting pissed off now. Like, come on. The crazy thing is, is we're still in competition somehow in these final whatever games. So we still somehow stand a chance of making it in. But it, I feel like we're going to get knocked out last second. That win might have secured it. If we, yeah, I think we're in. Come on. Are we in? We actually made it. Holy crap. 39 wins. We must be the last team. There's no way 
that a team lower than us got in. Wow. All right. So individually did not do so well. You can see there are player stats. Let's go to the entire league and let's see how far down we are. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We are at position number 20. Wow. A little bit of luck. And, you know, there we are. We are in the playoffs. Boom. Love to see it. All right. Teravinen with 63. Wow. A dash 22 from Tom Wilson. Dash 21 from Hints. What the heck is that all about? All right. Well, anyway, there's our player stats. Goalies, I'm a little worried. 9 10, 279. Blackwood did all right. Grice is the one who kind of let us down here. But, yeah. Anyway, he is only the backup. Let's go to the entire league. Just have a quick look at these stats. So, Rask, the most wins with 41 and a 915. I mean, look at Bishop here with an 898 and still had 38 wins. Unbelievable. Clearly carried by the offense. All skaters. We have the Art Ross going to Johnny Goudreau. That's a new face. All right. Cool. He might actually get the Rocket Richard too. No, never mind. Malkin looks like he most likely has it on lock. Well, let's go ahead and send the playoffs. We're going to get first rounded. I mean, I would expect nothing less, but just the fact that we made it in is amazing enough for me. Oh my word. Don't, don't get your hopes. Stop. Stop getting my hopes up game just to crush me. Oh my word. We made it past round one. How? Okay. Well, keep going here. Keep going. Now we're done. Whoa. Oh, what? What? This is a madness. This is an absolute madness. All right, we are now in the conference. We're up two. We're up two one. Oh no. Oh my. No! No! Oh, we were so close. And they went on to win the cup too. We actually stood a chance. I can't believe that. Tom Wilson got the most points for us in the playoffs. 15 in 20 games. What a certified legend. Let's check out the awards here. All right, so. The Ducks, we saw that. Pittsburgh with the Presidents. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy trying to find how low we were. But yeah, there you go. Uh, Goudreau with the Art Ross and the Hart. Doughty with the Norris. Goudreau with the Lady Bing. Kaprizov with the Calder. Kucherov with the Con Smythe. Rask gets the Vesna. Markstrom with the William M. Jennings. We've got Haskinen with the Bill Masterton. Schmulls. I was about to say Schmaltz. We got Couturier with the Selkie. Goudreau with the Ted Lindsay. And yeah, Malkin. With the Rocket Richard. Check out the playoff tree here. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. That was a roller coaster of emotions. We actually made it all the way to the conference finals. And we were winning at one point. And then we got... Did dirty. But anyways. That was just... You know what? That video turned out alright. I'm actually happy with that one. Well anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I mean I enjoyed. So that's what's important. No, I'm joking. Kind of. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, guys, uh, NHL 22 countdown's on, and let's go. I'm pretty hyped, so yeah, I hope you guys are getting hyped too. Be a pro day one. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I get that out to you guys, and that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great, I'm probably going to try to rush to get this out, so have a great weekend, assuming this comes out when I want it to. And yeah, just have a good one, guys. I'll see you later.